Hi, I'm Christine Chu, a school director serving kids and educators for over a decade. As a multi-term school board president and vice president, I've helped customize two superintendent searches to deeply involve the breadth of our community. And I've helped our board to navigate a variety of challenges and controversies by bringing people together for our kids. My deepest passion is ensuring that we truly serve the academic and social emotional growth and wellness of each and every student in all our districts. I've served as a legislative representative to WASDA, the vice chair of the resolutions committee, a member of the position subcommittee, a member of the WASDA board of directors and co-chair of the board equity committee. Whether advocating for our kids, creating positions to support the needs of our kids or finding ways to make WASDA more accessible to and reflective and supportive of our board directors and districts, collaborating with other board directors strengthens all my work. It is in the listening, learning and collective participation that we are strongest for our students and communities. I am running for WASDA vice president to take this work of supporting all 295 school districts, 1,477 school directors, and well over 1 million public school students to the next level so that WASDA becomes even more accessible to and reflective of the diversity of all its members and the needs of each and every student. And I can only do that with your support, not just your vote, but also your ongoing collaboration through WASDA. Thanks for listening and thanks for all you do for our kids. WASDA provides many values to its members and the key is how well members can and do access those values. My goal is to promote the work of WASDA to more members and make it more accessible for school directors to access WASDA resources, to participate in defining the positions and work of WASDA and to connect with each other, both formally and informally. We, the board directors, are not only those who benefit from WASDA, we are its greatest asset in supporting each other to serve our districts and all our students. Our participation in WASDA learning opportunities like boot camp and onboarding grows our own knowledge and skills and contributes to the growth of others. Our participation in defining WASDA's advocacy positions helps ensure those positions accurately represent the needs of all our students and sets up WASDA's amazing staff to leverage its work towards the most effective ends. Our participation in advocating for those positions strengthens our voice and effectiveness in advancing them for our kids and communities. Hence, I am working to promote increased participation in DA meetings, follow-up, leveraging and defining of WASDA positions, advocacy opportunities, utilization of WASDA resources, and development of informal networks so more director voices will be heard and all of us will benefit from each other. And we will collectively increase our effectiveness in supporting the needs of each and every student in every district across our state. Together, we are WASDA. There are so many issues critical to the success of our students in our current world. For example, increasing polarization and politicization of education in our communities, disruption of significant student learning time for standardized testing, inequities to access needed resources, and the need for ubiquitous high-speed internet access are all issues worthy of our attention. For me, one issue in particular influences our district's capacities to address all of these issues. While we've seen improvements in state funding for basic education, there continues to be a lack of full funding of basic education that realistically reflects the diverse needs of students across all districts. Special education continues to be funded at incomplete levels. There continue to be unfunded mandates required of schools. And the prototypical funding model used by the state to allocate resources does not accurately reflect the needs of all students, particularly in the areas of counselors, nurses, school psychologists, and other key resources that now more than ever are critical to our students' growth and well-being. 
we also need to account for the additional costs of supporting multilingual learners and other diverse and varying needs of our unique student populations. Ultimately, we need to retain local control in applying those funds so we can each best account for the whole child, academically and social emotionally, and for the unique needs of the students in each of our districts. We've been advocating for this for a while and making incremental progress. We must continue to speak up for the needs of each and every whole student. Together, our persistence and our voices through our unity in WASDA will advance these needs to establish equitable funding to support all our students. <laughs>